Hello everybody out there in the uh, music violin community. This is Mike from Sorter 777. And I figured I'd show you a video on the, uh, the day. It's been a while since my last video on what's spinning or music that I've listened to since my last video. Now, uh, what I've been doing, um, as I said before in a previous video, I'm going through all those, CD all those CDs uh, thoroughly um, since I bought that version of the CD or that I issue. Um, going through all my CDs for a thorough listen, and uh, look at uh, looking at sound quality too between two different versions of it as well. So uh, let's get right to it. So what you have here is uh, Jerusalem Dance to Heaven Servant. So I went through. Uh, this is a CD mix, uh, CD reissue done by Retroactive Records back a couple years ago, and what you have here is the um, is the North American mix. And the European mix of the CD, and uh, this, is, this is Jerusalem Dancing Heaven Serpent, originally came out in 1988. It's a great album, a lot of great tunes on this one. We got a title track, Dancing Heaven Serpent, uh, Plunder Hell, Poppy Heaven, uh, Rebels of Jesus Christ, uh, Come Higher. So, yeah, a lot of great tunes on this one. Next one I got here is a uh, reissue of the Striper Rocks Regime demos. Uh, which originally came out in 2007, I think it is. Uh, but it's been a reissue that came out there back in early 2019. And uh, this is more the demo version of their material uh, that was written both as Striper and the last couple of tracks is as Rock's Regime. So it's a great um, snapshot of what Striper was at musically back uh, before or during the Young Black Tack period. And, um, like I said, this is not an album you're going to pick up and listen to, all, listen to like you would another one of the other albums like 12 Devil or No More Hello Pay. But it's still, for all, it's great to have in your collection as a collector's item. I also got a vinyl to, to, to this as well. So there you have a straight for Rock Regime demos. <clears throat> Next up, we have Holy Soldier. Um... Self-titled debut, and um, so I went through and listened to this one. I bought this off Rocks Records back in, I like to say twenty, yeah, twenty, back in around early twenty nineteen. And um, now, when I listened to this this version, I got the original A and M version of it, or A and M Word Records version of it. And um, sonically, the music is more louder, more. Um, wide ranging. Um, the only thing I find with this release is that, and it could be just my ears too. On the original mix of the CD, I noticed a snare drum is kind of mixed loud on the, when the rain comes down and lies, but on the other songs in the album, that it's it's balanced. So when I listen to this one, and as it came to the point of playing these songs. When the rain comes down, was a track six and, and track seven lies. I was thinking to myself, I'm hoping they were, when they re, remaster the album or re, re, um, um, yeah, remaster the album, they probably toned down on, on the snare drum bit. The uh, drums a bit loud, and he didn't. To me, this drum sound even more louder uh, on the, when the rain comes down and lies. But it could be just me. It could be just my own preference or my, uh, um, you know. Where I'm, a, I'm a particular person. I like to do things in a certain way. But like I said, other than that, it's a great um, version to have. Um, if you don't have um, any version of this CD, I, I encourage you to go out and get it. It's a great album. That's probably This is probably my top 30 favorite albums of all time. Striper debut came out in the uh, night originally. And redone by Rocks Records in 2019. Next one we have is Holy Soldier Last Train. Now, um, I have the Japanese version of this one. And I have the original Mur Word record of this one. When I bought this one, I bought this one when I bought the vinyl back in uh, early 2019, the same time I bought the Holy Soldier debut re uh, reissued version. And um, there's a digipack version. Uh, there's no lyric sheet or insert with this one. And the back of it is like the, is like the Japanese album cover. That you have here. This is the Japanese album cover on the inner tray here. So when I listen to this one, um, 
Again, it sounds more louder, certainly it's more pronounced, uh, you know, uh, things a little bit more uh, easier to, to decipher when you listen to the album. Um, some great tunes in this one, uh, of course, the, the lead off track, Virtue and Vice, Virtue and Vice, pretty good, Crazy, uh, Gimme Shelter, uh, Dead End Drive, Last Train, they're, they're my favorite songs in the album. Um, also, I have appreciation to a song I didn't, I didn't care for uh, previously. And that's fair weather friend. Um, when I was watching uh, one of uh, um, Ron Haggerty's video, or I think it's his is called Violent Sanctuary. I think it's called. Um, he showed the whole sort of record, and uh, he did say that the song "Fair Weather Friend" is about where an, um, a writer interviewed Striper at one point in time in their career, and what happened was that they said things in the article after interview that wasn't true. The story went along something like this. This is what Fair Weather Friend is about. It's about that person who wrote the article about Striper. And they said some things in the article that Striper didn't say or that, or that weren't true. Um, kind of giving new meaning on, on the phrase uh, fake media. So there you have it. Holy Sword of the Last Train. Um, came out, originally came out in 1992. And reissued by Rocks Records back in 2017. There you have it. Oh. I forgot to mention that sound quality is a bit... Oh, yeah, I did say that, didn't I? The sound quality is a bit more dynamic uh, than this on, on the original release. A little bit of difference. Not much, but a little bit of difference. Next up, we have Mass, Voices in the Night. And this was originally um, given to me by Scott Waters there a few months ago. Or about a year ago, I think it was. Uh, in the VCLT. Now, uh, when I previewed this album, when I first got it in my car. I didn't care for it too much. But uh, when I gave this album a thorough listen, I have a new appreciation for the band Mass. And I may be interested in getting more of their stuff. Um, a jury's out on that one. I'm not quite sure if I'm going to or not. But I was kind of impressed with the album. Um, yeah, so like some great tunes like Nine Tonight, Reach for the Sky. You know, a, a couple, th th these are two, a couple great tunes. Um, most of the album's pretty good. So like I said... Mass Voices in the Night. It's the only uh, album I have from Mass. I don't have any other, any other music. So I probably will be checking out their music in the coming months, months or year or so. Um, to get a feel for more stuff and may end up, end up ordering more of their uh, CDs. Next up we have Guardian. We have First Watch. Now this is the original Enigma Records version that came out in 89. Now, I had to accept this one years ago. Um... Back when it came out in May of June of '89, and uh, on the cassette it only had the ten songs going from "I'll Never Leave You" to "Rock and Victory." I know that this album was originally a twelve-song album, and the vinyl and the, and the cassette only had ten songs. But this CD also has the song "Hyperdrive" and "Marching On," and these are probably the two of the best songs in the album, in my opinion. Also, I have the retroactive uh, re. Mix a remastered version of this one came in 2018, and this also contains the um, um, California Metal compilation uh, songs, um, Spiritual Warfare and Marching On, as well as a, a 13 and 14 track. Now, what can I say for this album? Um, I bought this one a few years ago from uh, Soundmass in Australia. I think back in 2017. I bought this a few months ago from Retroactive. Now, the sound, there's a slight difference in this one than this one. It's a bit more louder and it's a bit more pronounced in certain instruments. And it's more of a bottom end on it. Um, the layout of this one is really good. The lyrics is, is, is uh, easy to read and that kind of thing. But there's a typo for the song Miracle. It has different lyrics to an entirely different song. There's a few typos in with the lyrics. The other lyrics, a few modern ones, not to complain, complain about. That's the only gripe I have with the album. However, the layout and size is really good. Uh, lyrics are, are, are kind of um, easy to make out and easy to read. But this one is originally from Ignamer Records. It comes with picture disc. But I don't know why um, they do this with uh, Sony's to... Uh, uh, back in the day, to discuss the um, marketing layout design at, at Enigma. 
if you look at the inside flap in this one see all that um, text that you see there very hard to read there you have it but like i said i mean that's a that's a um that's a uh thing you find but a lot of music put up in that day they'll cram everything in, into the one uh on the one page and uh i have this one listed for sale on facebook so in, in, in responding to this one so this is a this is a far superior copy and uh like i said i do like the fact there's a picture of this too of the band a uh, kind of a cool band photo as well so there you have it guardian first watch if you don't have this album I recommend you pick this up and uh, i also have the original neighbor records version of this on vinyl as well there you have it Next up, we have a band that not too many people are probably know of or I don't see here discussed a lot in VCLT. The band called Legend 7. Uh, the reason called Legend, only put, only put two albums. Uh, Legend, their self titled album, again called Legend. And this is called Blind Faith. It's more of a bluesy, hard rock AOR, tune, AOR song, uh, album, sorry. And um, came out on World Records back in 93. There you have it. Uh, it's kind of got, got a bit of braille there because uh, it's called Live Faith. And um, standout tracks Refugee, Burning Desire, Blind Faith. Um, what else is on there? It's good. Uh, straight sh uh, Shoot Straight Johnny and Hold Out. Comes with a, a nice keyboard lace ballad about, called Be Still. It kind of harkens on the uh, idea of fact that um, we should be still and know that he's God. Kind of got that theme going through a song. Very nice belt. There you have it. Legend 7, Blind Faith. Um, if you don't know what the band's about or what they're like, you can, pick it, you can probably listen to their tunes on, on, uh, on um, YouTube uh, to get a feel for the music. Another one uh, I've been listening to is Love Life, Goodbye Lady Jane. This came out with Rocks Records back in 2019. And um, now, I've long since sold the original CD I got for this one that was released on Blonde Vinyl. Uh, but I can tell when I listen to this one, uh, the production is a little bit rough, a little bit raw. But the um, but uh, I'm, you can tell from what I recall from the previous version that the mastering is, is does is a lot of improvement to this album. It sounds more um, warmer is probably the best way of putting it and the layout of this album is really cool i'll show the inside part of it there there you go also have this on vinyl as well so there you have it um it's the great tracks like real love do you love me heart on fire uh they got two great battles the first one's called when loneliness come knocking um go by lady jane 10,000, 1,000 Reasons is a second bell. Really, really nice bell. Um, it includes a cool, kind of a cool Beatles track, Hard Day's Night. And uh, Do You Believe in Love is, a, is the last song of the album. Also comes some demos. Uh, the Blue Again, Do You Believe in Love, Real Love, which is which is, already, uh, is on the album. And some other only tracks, uh, Believe in You and Lonely. There you have it, Love Life. Love Life uh, changed the name a couple years later. From, uh, this originally came out in 1991. And reissued by Rocks Records in 2019. And um, they changed the name to Fair or Not, as you may know. They put a self titled album in uh, 2003, um, sorry, uh, 1993 called uh, Fear or Not Self Title. And they put out an EP back la uh, last year called For the, For the Wounded Heart. Um, and I think they're planning on playing another album so soon as well. So I look forward to that as well. Last up, we have Recon, Behind Enemy Lines. Um, this is a band uh, headed up by George Ochoa of Deliverance fame. And Jimmy Brown also lends his chops uh, to this album as well. Um, so it kind of got that uh, mix of power metal, classic metal, and, and thrash uh, through the album. Uh, some of my favorite tracks in this album are... Let me see, what can I say is my favorite track? Dreams, Take Us Away. Um, so another tune is good here too. Last Soldier. Yeah, uh, most albums pretty good. I think of the 10 songs, or like 6 or 7, that's really sent it to me on this album. Also contains a pretty cool um, uh, two tracks from the California Metal 2 compilation, Like to Fire and Dreams. 
Like the Fire is a great track. I know why I include that as a song on the on the album originally, but Like the Fire is a, is a really good track. Love love that track. There you have Recon Behind Me Lines, uh, redone by by um, by Retroactive in 20, 2019 or eighteen. Yeah, twenty nineteen by Retroactive Records, uh, remastered. There you have it. Recon Behind Me Lines. So there you have it, folks. That's what I've been listening to the past uh, since my last video, and. Uh, like I said, I've been going back and, and uh, taking my uh, albums that I bought and I haven't listened to and going through them thoroughly, uh, uh, thoroughly to get a feel for the music. And um, what can I say? Um, I'll be showing another video later on um, regarding some recent purchases I've made. I haven't shown that yet uh, since the last video as well. So guys, um, I'll, I hope you're all doing well. Uh, stay safe and all the best and uh, see you next time. Bye now.